Hello everyone! Do you know the biggest dilemma faced by our customers when purchasing a stainless steel water tank? Size? Capacity? Maybe. Pricing? Possible. But surprisingly, it is about where to install the stainless steel water tank and how to install it. Allow me to explain further. This is Scott Gay and welcome to ADKC Home Improvement Show. Before I begin, let me ask you a simple question. Do you know where does your daily water supply comes from? Yes, no, or don't know? Look at this diagram. Rain falls into the water dam, flowing into the water treatment plant, and after processing, going to your area water reservoir, and finally, to your home. Next, we are gonna talk about basic plumbing system. Look at this diagram a common configuration available in most houses in Malaysia. Incoming water supply, water meter, and before the piping go into the house, it will be split into two lines. The first line directly to the kitchen, and the second line directly to the water tank at the rooftop level, and thereafter to the bathroom. Question time. If you need an outdoor water filter, where should you install it? The answer, after the water meter referring to the diagram. If your incoming water supply pressure is low, you need a water pump. But where should you install the water pump? The answer, it is not recommended and may be prohibited by your local authorities to install a water pump directly after your water meter. Then what should I do? In this case, you are advised to install a buffer tank or a temporary storage tank between the water meter and also the water pump. Incoming water supply will be stored in this buffer tank before being pumped into your kitchen and bathroom. Based on our experience, the biggest dilemma faced by our customers before confirming a stainless steel water tank is to where and how should I install the stainless steel water tank. The basic installation of a stainless steel water tank can be divided into three scenarios, beginning with the first one, replacing the existing water tank. You just bought a new water tank with higher capacity to replace the existing water tank. For example, PE, polyethylene water tank, or FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastics water tank, which is old or leaking. This installation process is simple and straightforward. You just have to disconnect the incoming and outgoing water supply, remove the existing water tank, and reconnect back with a new one. You may require some extra pipes and fittings. Difficulty, easy. Oops, before I forget, please be informed that stainless steel water tanks shall be located externally and not in a confined space. The second scenario, coexist or connecting with the existing water tank. Now that you have two water tanks with extra water storage capacity, please make sure that you have enough space and strong structure to support the additional loading. Please remember, one liter of water is equivalent to one kilogram. 1,000 liter of water is equivalent to 1,000 kilogram. Do you still remember your physics, fluid dynamics? Come on, anyone? Water shall maintain the same level in connected vessels, and therefore this applies to both of the new and existing water tanks. It is recommended that both of the tanks to have the same height for optimal storage capacity. Let's talk about the configuration. Incoming water supply will flow into the first tank via single entry point, single float valve, and the outgoing water supply will exit from the second water tank. Both of the water tank will be connected at the bottom outlets for water balancing. Difficulty, slightly tricky. The third scenario, adding a new stainless steel water tank at the ground level. Where? after the water meter or after the water filter. Again, you have two water tanks with extra storage capacity. However, there are risks here. This configuration has ended itself from the original water supply system at the ground level. Water pressure will be depleted and now dependable on the water level of the new water tank. This low pressure is not sufficient to supply to the kitchen, bathroom and even the water tank at the rooftop level. Any solution? Yes, 
you need to install a water pump to continue supply water at a higher pressure to your home. Difficulty, moderate and costly. To be honest with you, there are additional two more concerns. Number one, if your water pump fail, malfunctions or blackout without electricity, that means the entire water supply system to your home will be interrupted. No water. Most of the water pumps have automatic pressure switch, which operates by detecting the low pressure at the outgoing water supply. For example, when you are dishwashing at your kitchen, the sudden drop of water pressure will trigger the pump to operate. But if there's no water in the incoming water supply, the pump will still continue to operate and will not cut off automatically. So how? What is the solution? Let me share with you. You need to create a bypass channel from after the water meter or after the water filter directly into your existing plumbing system. Basically, disconnect temporarily the water tank and the water pump from your water supply system. Thank you for watching. I just realized that I have done many, many videos on stainless steel water tank. I'm so glad and happy to share the experience and knowledge with all of you. And I hope that all of you enjoyed it as well. And I hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.